Good morning. So we just had here for breakfast and uh, there's still no one here. It's pretty spooky. Isabella's mm-hmm. terrified, but uh, I'm going to put her in the car as soon as possible. <laughs> just joking, Izzy. All right, so Izzy, that was a night we spent in the Konenbriga Hotel. What do you think? Honestly. Honestly, I thought it was a bit strange. Like, it seems very dated to me. And the whole atmosphere is just a little bit creepy, in my opinion. Let me guess, it was like, so when we were walking along the corridors and there was like this soft sort of background, strange elevator music coming out. Exactly, and it was so dark and you like couldn't see the end of it. I don't know. It feels like it would be used in a horror movie. That's all I have to say about it. But everyone was great to us and I didn't... I don't have reason to complain except that it was very, very creepy. And it was also, I mean, it was lovely, it was beautiful, but it was also dead as a doornail. There's like, there's no one here. No one here. People like walking around whispering and stuff. And all the other hotels we've been in so far over the last five, six days have been mm-hmm. packed. We've been really lucky to get a spot. Yeah. So uh, it's strange. It's because it's a lovely hotel. I don't know why it's not full of life and bristling with people. But as you can see from these videos, it's a perfect hotel. So anyway, let's move on. We're going to go to school. We're going to go to Espinal, which is this village in the middle of nowhere. It's like apparently it's a country school. And you told me they've got what there? They have chickens. I don't know if they still do, but Tatiana told me that they have chickens for like each student. Awesome. So we're going to have chicken for lunch? No. Well, they're not going to kill the chickens, Dad. <laughs> I've actually booked a sushi place in um, Coimbra, so we better get going. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. See you later. Let me recap our journey for you. Tim Vieira, founder of my daughter's school, the Brave Generation Academy, or BGA for short, asked Isabella and I to tour all his hubs around Portugal. Now briefly, how BGA works is that all the curriculums are taught through an online platform, but all students need to attend a local hub, of which there are over 30 and growing all around Portugal. It's a hybrid education model, and you can find out more about it on their website. This tour of Portugal was designed around BJ's hubs in Portugal, but it's also designed to show you a greater slice of Portugal than my home in the Algarve. It is now Tuesday, day six of our trip, and if you haven't watched the previous episodes, we arrived in Almada, just south of Lisbon, the night before we started. Day one, we toured four hubs in Lisbon and four in Cascais on Thursday, and headed off for dinner in Ericeira and slept the night in Mafra. We returned to Ericeira on day two and travelled up to Santarém for a Friday lunch, saw the hub there and spent an incredible night at the Soyuz Montejunto Ecologe. Day three and four was a weekend and the school was closed, so Izzy and I hunkered down in a national park, sleeping at Casa Boho. Day five, Monday morning, started off with Obidush, a bit of rain as well, Caldas da Rainha and Leiria before spending last night near Coimbra. Today we're heading off to the hub near Coimbra, then heading off to Aveiro for the night and for a boat tour. Hans, how's it going? I'm nice Nick. Nice to meet you. I'm Hans. Nice to meet you. Welcome to our BGA Coimbra. Coimbra, yeah. Coimbra. But hang on, Hans. So, so you're not you're not a learning coach. You're actually a learner here. Yeah, I'm a learner at Coimbra Hub, uh, Espanyol, and I've been there for one year now. Is it? Yeah. And um, what's it like? I mean, have you, were you at normal school beforehand and then you came here? Yeah, I used to live in the UK, uh, in Southampton. I went to all my schools there till I was 15 years old, and then we moved to Portugal. Okay. And, and how did you find that? I mean, that must have been a big change for you coming to PGA and to Portugal right? yeah no life is a lot different here and I've been I've been here for a good two years now and I've been in BGA for a year uh-huh. and it has been different it's been a bit challenging but uh-huh. we're here I think it's a challenge challenge for everybody to make their move and then like you really understand how free it is and how yeah it's, it's, a, it's very different yeah life is a lot more free and it's, it's a lot different compared to the UK yeah, yeah. Great, would you show us around your hub? Yeah, sure. Okay. Hey guys, nice to see you. Good morning, Isabel. Yes. Good morning. <laughs> wonderful learner, learning coach, Andre. Hey, Andre, how's it going? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah, yes. Margarita. 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 She's our other learning coach. Well, the hub comes through here. We've got our inspirational quotes on the wall. Ah, whenever you, what, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Yeah. 
there we go, it's another one by Thomas Jefferson. I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. Yeah. Pretty good. And then we've got a room in here. This is our meditation room. Does everybody come in here for meditation in the morning on their own or is it like uh, a peep it's, thing? It's or? completely free use. You can come here whenever you want. Okay. If you're feeling stressful, if you're feeling anxious about anything, you come here, you meditate and yeah. And then this is the gym room. This is the gym room? Yeah, you can, there's a ping pong table. There's, we come here in the morning, we usually do stretches. And you guys apparently have chickens here. Right? Yeah, apparently we are known as the chicken hub. And we have a few uh, wild range chickens here. Uh, every learner from about a year ago got to pick their own chicken out from a market and they got to name them. Tavian. 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 Nice to meet you, Tavian. Tavian's just taking me for a walk to show me the, the, this um, the Spignol area, which is cool. So we're learning all about the local area where the hub is. Okay, so this is right on the top of the hill in the village. And because it's a bit cloudy today, we can't have a, don't have a decent view, but maybe if it clears up and get the drone up and, uh, and show you around Espinal. BJ is a very, a very free uh, schooling way. You have more freedom in the way that you learn. So you make your own timetables, you, you work at your own pace. Of course, you've got the like learning coaches on, your, on the back burners. So you always got to think that you got to, you, you got to work. So there is discipline involved. Yeah, there is a lot of discipline yeah. involved. And and how about the people? They look like a really cool bunch of learners that you got here. Yeah, no, everyone everyone's so kind, everyone's so nice. They're all very very nice and chatty. Yeah. They always they always have very uh, very interesting conversations. It's honestly a, a ball to be with everyone. Cuz everybody loves a beaker. The village of Espinal's population has been declining since the 1800s, when it was a good waypoint between the Beira Litoral and the interior. As you can see, the foothills stretch up to the Serra de Estrela, mainland Portugal's highest mountains. We were headed north into Coimbra for lunch, which is only 25 minutes drive away, about an hour by bus. Wow, man, you can't even see this bridge up there, can you? Alright, we just arrived in Coimbra. How was that hub? It was really cool, actually. It was amazing, yeah. It's a very different hub, which I think is super cool. Yeah. yeah, it's very welcoming and very warm. Yeah. Loved it. And I saw the chickens. <laughs> All right, so we're heading to sushi to have some funky su sushi from Coimbra. Just around the corner here. So our destination is Shari Sushi Bar in Coimbra. Do you want to sit outside? Okay, cool. This place is a definition of don't judge a book by its cover, isn't it, Dad? Maracujá, or passion fruit lemonade, freshly made.
So I'm here with, with Maria from BGA Aveiro, which we've already introduced you to. Thank you so much for having us in your new hub. It's really exciting. Yeah, you're welcome. It's a temporary hub, right? It's a temporary hub, yeah, temporary ah. location. We are looking for a location here in the city center. But it's tough to find, huh? Yeah, and the kids were waiting, so we started. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously, these guys are international, but yeah, their parents we are, we are now our temporary hub is in a, in a, a football academy with, with like 30 kids from all over the world. So a lot of nationalities already. Mm -hmm. Our learners, they are 10 from 10 different countries. So what I have seen in the city is, is a university city. Yeah. So it has a big university, a lot of colleges. And, and so there are a lot of students from all over the country and I think the world, yeah. yeah. So but, but it's amazing how Portugal has suddenly become so international in the last 10 years. Yeah. Like before it was, because I've been here 22 years, so <laughs> before it was just like Portuguese, Portuguese. Yeah, for sure, for and sure. So my kids are in the public school and they have a lot of kids from here in Aveiro. Mm -hmm. Actually, they have kids from from like two or three different countries, all of them. So. Okay. Because I'm really excited because I've never been to Aveiro. It's my first yeah. time and we're going to go, hopefully we're going to go and try and get in one well, of those boats. Well, I'm already passionate about the city yeah? and I'm here for two months. So. <laughs> have you been on one of those boat tours along the canals? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, but uh, we have been to the beaches and to the, um, to the city center. Every, you do everything just walking. You mm -hmm. don't pick the car. And so it's been really nice. Yeah. I'm looking forward to exploring it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maria. It was lovely to meet you. Yeah? Thank you, Nick. Okay. <laughs>
So, there you have it. According to popular legend, the nuns used egg whites to clean their habits back in the old days. Well, they used the yolks to make sweets so as not to waste them. And in order to raise money for their religious communities. Of Jmol's grew in popularity when women wearing traditional Aveiro costumes started selling them at the Aveiro train station on the Lisbon Porto line. It's become quite a thing in Aveiro. But it's like the outside is a bit sort of stale. It feels like a crusty plastic container. I like them. Holgarvaddicts.com